That sounded so funny, like, brah, are you, are you dumb or something? Because the car is a public car, not his private car. Why are you making such rules? Why do we always make this face, like... <laughs> guys how are you guys doing hope you guys are good you guys are welcome back to my channel in the process of doing my makeup i realized that i want to share something with you please if you've not subscribed do make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on your post notification so you get um alerted whenever i post a new video let's get into this video um by the way happy independence day nigeria today is nigeria's independence day and i just thought to go out probably to check eagle square to see what they're doing there i'll just pass none all right this is my shade I'm not really, I don't like putting foundation. <sighs> Let's blend this out. Why do we always make this face like? <laughs> it's funny. The other day I was heading home and I bought a bus that would take me inside where I live. I usually don't like sitting at the front of the car, so I'll go to the back. And I noticed that there was a girl at the back already. She was um, wearing black, a black abaya. And I entered the bus, she was sitting by the right hand side and I went towards the left hand side so there's like space in the middle. Like we just say hi, hi and we just sat down and minded our business. And more passengers were coming. This guy, he was supposed to fill in the back seat and he said I should shift towards the lady that he doesn't want to sit in between this lady and I. <laughs> Apply this. And this guy said he doesn't want to sit in between this lady and I, that he wants to sit by the side, forgetting that I came before him. And I remember telling him, I told him that if he doesn't want to board the bus, he should just find another bus because there were so many buses behind. And he said, no, that he's in a hurry to get to where he's going and he wouldn't want to sit in between this lady and I. I remember the driver coming in to ask him why. And he said, because the lady and I were wearing black. So he doesn't want to sit in between two ladies putting on black. If you see that day, <laughs> that sounded so funny. Like, brah, are you are you dumb or something? So because this lady and I are putting on black, you don't want to sit in between us. I didn't move. On. I told him if you can't sit in between, you should wait for someone else that will sacrifice the seat for him. Let him sit in the front because the car is a public car, not his private car. Why are you making such rules? If you want to have this mentality, then get your own car, bro. Like this guy literally refused the seat so someone else who didn't mind came in sat down and we we're like did the guy die i believe that so many things that freak us as africans most of them from what we believe like it's all in our head if you have this mentality in your head then i'm sorry like where are we moving to i remember there was a time when i was um traveling back to school right this lady she sat in front of the bus she came first and she sat by the door and um, this man is an elderly man actually the man came and told the lady to move inside and this lady said she's not going to move inside that she prefers staying by the door side and this man was causing a scene that why would the lady want to sit by the door side this is like an african thing to be honest because was there if the lady sits by the side and you as a man go inside then you trust other black people they were saying oh, madam go inside go inside now woman you be so because she's a woman, she can't sit by the window side. Number two was supporting the guy and told the lady to come down. She doesn't want to move inside. The lady came down. This is like, I'll probably say a Nigerian thing because I've not traveled up before to know how this works there. But Nigerian men and their inferiority complexes a lot. Let me get done my makeup because I'm running out of time. <music> Done with the parade by now, but 
we'll just see what we can get from there anyways i'll talk to you guys later let's go happy independence day nigeria guys so i got a notification on this phone and um this is the message it just got me thinking that people still do this this is like 2020 scam and just got me thinking if people still fall for this kind of things it's just absurd to be honest for them to still be doing this that means they have people that have fallen or still fallen for this this is so 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 wrong in every way please if you get a message from these people please please do not fall for this it's calm on the highest level i mean come on i should call mr balogun to collect my money <laughs> this is so funny i said hi i want to talk to you so i uh, said mira me my own is complicated complicated oh yeah explain the complicated oh yeah so please please Like you guys were on top of this high um the rooftop looking to take good pictures because apparently this place gives one of the best pictures i'll show you guys the pictures when we're done yeah so let's get started how are you guys doing hope you guys are good Gospel anyway, so. <laughs> 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 